What's up YouTube, Tenchi Arizona of the Jackalope crew here with the Ganzo G7392-CF, the CF standing for carbon fibre. Now this is the first of probably three or four follow-up videos regarding this knife. And as you can see I've got a bit of branch here. I've already carved some of the bark off the end of it. Oh, stripped some of the bark off should I say using this knife and it seems to handle pretty well so far uh, I've had to switch over to autofocus for this video because I am going to be using both hands which means I will not be able to manual focus so let's get on with it now I'm fully aware that this would be considered abusive testing for a pocket knife but I want to see what this blade can take and as you can see, it is cutting into this wood pretty easily. If it wasn't for the fact I'm completely out of practice, I could probably make feather sticks out of this. Not too sure what kind of wood it is, as I just picked the branch up down my local park this morning. And it is still pretty green from the feel of how it's cutting. Still, it is doing a pretty good job. My skills notwithstanding. It has been a long time since I've actually done anything like this. So, as you can see, it's hogging off pretty easily. Now, bear in mind, the blade on this knife is only 440 stainless steel. 440C to be precise. But, yeah, it's doing a pretty good job. And honestly, it's doing better than I would have expected. As you can plainly see, I'm having no trouble whatsoever. Well, at least I hope you can see. I can't really tell if I'm in frame here. I would hope I'm in frame because... I really don't want to have to re-record this video, but I will zoom out just to make sure. There we go, zoom down again. As you can see, I've got a nice little point on here now. Which wasn't my intention, it's just because I'm really not paying too much attention here. This is just to see what this blade can handle. And it seems to be handling it pretty well. Doesn't seem to be any flat spots on the blade. Let's give it a quick swipe across this card, which is just a coupon card. Yeah, as you can see, not really much problem. A little bit of snaggage, but yeah, still plenty sharp. Now, as I said, this little demonstration is way beyond what you should be doing with this blade. This is not a bushcraft blade. This is an everyday carry general purpose blade in my opinion. But it has handled cutting into this stick pretty well. All the cutting on this has been done with this knife. I'll actually go back to this and show you some more cutting with it. And I actually trimmed this stick down from a larger piece, which I have sat in the corner for other tests. I'm going through a knot there, which is why it's a little rough. But yeah, as you can see, this blade is having absolutely zero problems hogging wood out. And the cuts are really fucking smooth. You just saw that piece of wood fly off there. Yeah. Now this wood is still a little green, starting to get a bit punky in the middle, but the outside of it is pretty green. 
that's blatant tip abuse there as you can see. <laughs> the Ganzo is handling it nicely. Now, anyone who tells me that Ganzo blades are just cheap copies that can't take punishment is clearly, as you have seen from that demonstration, full of shit. Because my entire living room has bits of wood all over it right now from slicing at this blade. And this is one of the pieces it hogged off. So yeah, that is hardly a small piece of wood. That's significant considering the size of the branch. So yeah. And let's see, we're giving it a bit more abuse. Really, if anyone wants to say that Ganzo are crappy blades, there is your proof to the contrary, people. Now, I wasn't going to give this a score today, but given how hard I've just been on this blade, and given the fact it's held up without the slightest issue whatsoever, here is the carnage, up close. You can see the mess for yourself. That table is covered in murdered wood. Now, based on this, I'm not going to do it, oh, well, I might do another video, but this is going to be the review video. I would give this blade on ergonomics, 4 out of 5, it does give you a little bit of a hot spot when you're using the back of the blade as a thumb ramp. Edge retention, 5 out of 5, all day long. Lock up, there is only the tiniest bit of side to side play after all that use. And that will be fixed by adjusting the pivot, so I'd say 5 out of 5 on the lock up. Given the fact that it's an axis lock. Yep, there's a little bit of side to side play, but that's to be expected. With the use I've put this through, I'll just adjust the pivot screws later on, and that side to side play will be gone, non existent. So, lock up 5 out of 5. Build quality, I'd say 5 out of 5. It does seem to have a coating over the stone wash, but it does appear to be handling well. There, is no, there are no chips or chinks in the blade, as far as I can see. And I'll zoom in for you to see there. As you can see, the edge is absolutely flawless. Not a single chink in that edge. So, yes, I feel confident in saying that this blade belongs in anyone's collection. Five out of five, without a doubt. This is the review of it and the torture test of it, you've seen what it can withstand, judge it for yourselves. I'm pretty sure no other YouTuber has done what I have just done with this blade. They would probably consider it gross abuse, but hey, I keep it real here. So, that's all for today, and remember, be good to each other.